Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? Welcome to today's video. If you guys are new, subscribe. If you're not, then subscribe. Well, you already are. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. Today, we are starting the vlog with some hanging out. We'll get into some car stuff later. Hey, here you go. Watch. The police on the left and a DB11 on the right. And a car that decided to block the DB11. For those who know Emmett, we're going to Emmett's house right now. Grayson's there. And that's how we're going to start the vlog. We're with Lily, who's never been to Emmett's house. And Jay, who's obviously been there. So, uh, let's get into the day. <laughs> okay, right you know, one of the security guards. <laughs> we always bring Lily on adventures she's not ready for. I told Lily this was a very rundown home. <laughs> Lily, this is probably the biggest, nicest home you'll probably ever see in your entire life. I mean, I don't know. It is the other guy's house. No, no, no. This will make that look like a piece of actual sh. You see the house? Right, Lily's gonna see the house now. You know, I've been to this house. <gasps> she has! I thought about it for a second if Lily had been here. We're stupid. We're really dumb. Can we just talk about this? Get in the camera, dude. Stop hiding from the camera, Grayson, okay? So Emmett's home is kind of absurd. I didn't film last time I was here, but his house was designed by my favorite architect in the world. I've never been here during the day. So I'm here during the day now, and it's cool. <gasps> it's Pillow Dog. That dog is my soul mate. He looks like a piece of popcorn. Oh my goodness gracious, hello. And now we're at the best part of the house. What do you like more, the cars or the dogs? Dogs. All right, we got a car check it though. We got a Portofino, yeah, malicious, good spec. We have a Urus, not a bad spec. How about I guess? Well, I just told you. No, I mean these two. This is Grayson. <laughs> Grayson's GT3 is here. That's a Porsche. 992. What kind of Porsche? 992. Did you say that because Grayson just said it? Yeah. Then you got a 992. Emmett has an E63 that's up there that I didn't film, but. Why is the paint on this so cool? Hi, popcorn. That dog just looks like a characterization of like eyebrows falling off and like squirming away. Like you ever seen that in a cartoon? Oh yeah. That's what it would be. And there's a trampoline, which is my favorite part of the house. Also nine bajillion degrees outside, so we'll make this quick. <laughs> look, at, look at this Whoa. little thing. Here's Emmett's E63. Uh, that's Emmett's other car. <laughs> He's like, no, that's some piece of shit electric thing that they have here. I don't know whose that is. You didn't pay attention, I just made fun of your car. Let's go. What if this doggy door has like a mechanism? Or if it senses a human, it just chops you in half. So we just left Emmett's. We're going to a garage right now that supposedly has a ton of crazy cars. On the way there, I'm gonna try to catch some cool cars for you guys. You know why? Because you guys probably like cars. Because this is a car, a car channel, so. This is considered good. We have a 600 LT and then two 570s. That's actually a GT, that's cool. They said that Ogara stores all their cars here and there's also some personal storage or personal parking. So we should see some really cool cars. I'm like 100% positive we're gonna see some crazy shit. So enjoy. And as we walk in, we have a Phantom over here. There's a driving school Cullinan, supposedly, next to a Wraith, I believe. It's an Ogara service vehicle with a beautiful matte black Urus. Yum. Grayson, does that tinkle your Timmy or what? Yes, sir. <laughs> Three rolls over there. We have a Cullinan, a beautiful 720 that we'll go look at. A 720. There's a lot of car. Oh, most of these cars here. We're just gonna go into cinematic because that's way easier, so enjoy. <laughs> We have a Lambo truck, a Chiron, and a Senna. Oh my god. We've uh, located the McLaren section and Lamborghini, I guess. That color is so good. Three of them and I'm good. I don't need anything else. You have to name them from the white car down to the... I mean, I know that's an 
smart, but I don't know what kind. Vantage. Vantage? That's what we were driving that day. Nope. Yeah. No. Nope. That was what his client had. Nope. What Aston Martin were we driving that day? We've never, never driven Aston. Yeah, you have. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. I have not. Go. What's this? It's an AMG GT. Don't you dare listen to Grayson. It's like a McLaren 570. Nope. 720? Yep. It's the next day and I'm doing something that I've been waiting to do for a long time as you guys probably saw in my last video I had some issues with getting the OBD cord for my computer so I could actually mess with my tune I'm running boot mod 3 on my M2 and I finally got everything situated I got the adapter that I needed from Ethernet to USB-C and I'm finally able to mess with stuff But <laughs> I was just gonna show you guys. I want to change my burbles I don't want them to burble for as long I don't want it to burble at all in comfort mode I'll kind of show you what I'm going for and I think I'm gonna do a custom burble because I can actually change that but I don't want to anything up. So I'm kind of going to go through, I'm going to learn exactly how boot mod works and if there's like do's and don'ts of the tune. I can't really see what tune I'm running. Like I can see my map that I'm running right now, but it doesn't have the specifics of what last flash had as far as settings. So I guess we're going to have to figure it out, but we're going to make my car sound cooler. Trust me. We're flashing right now. I just did my settings. I'll go through them a little with you guys in a second. Boot mod wants to store files on this device. Sure. I don't know what's happening. Hello? Hopefully we don't get a check engine light when I change this. I hope that they didn't have to reset my ECU every time you do this. I don't know. I wasn't the one who did this the first time it was SSR because they were the one who did my tune and my downpipe so I really don't want a check engine light that's the goal I know they did some things to make sure I didn't get a check engine light things keep going on right now I don't know what's going on we're waiting oh we're going we're going go I like this oh oh what happened look at all these things that are going on oh tuning is so weird please turn ignition off wait five seconds and then start the car ignition off I don't know if I can even reach I'm gonna wait a little longer than five seconds just to be safe Okay. And we have no code. Yes. I'm sweating by the way. It's like 90 degrees and I can't really have AC on. I've changed my verbals to do absolutely nothing in comfort mode, which it didn't really do much before anyway, just because it shifted so early. In sport mode, I made the duration shorter and the severity of them way bigger. So my goal is to try to get like a gnarlier pop and bang that just doesn't last for like as long. So we're gonna take it out for a drive right now. Hopefully this sounds cool. If not, we can go back in and change it around. I'm gonna let the car kind of cool down for a second just because it's so hot out. Or you take it for a spin. Hopefully I did this right. If not, Break. I've heard this car on the aggressive burble and it's absolutely stupid. And I have my burble pretty aggressive right now, but I shrunk it to literally only half a second. So I wonder like, oh, I guess we'll find out. Maybe it won't even burble at all because I have it so short. I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll find out right now. So it's like gnarly. It's actually kind of nice. Like. All right, so here's what I think we're gonna do. We're gonna flash it one more time. We're gonna make the burble a little longer and put aggressiveness all the way up. Okay, we'll get back to you. I'm gonna retune it one more time. So I think I have an idea of what I want to do with my tune, but <laughs> for right now, I just put everything on as high as it goes. So we're gonna take this car out. She's gonna literally lose her shit. I think it's gonna be gnarlier than the car the other day. Yeah. It's gonna go for five seconds, the burble. Oh, I'm gonna love that. Five seconds. Do you know how long five seconds is in burble time? It's a long time time, so we're gonna do that. I have it aggression set to like 12 or whatever it goes to, and I have the burble going for five seconds just to make this video entertaining. We're gonna take it out, get everyone's reactions. I'm probably gonna lose my mind. Try to not get a ticket, come home, and put it to go what there? I think I know I wanna put it at. Keep it at 
<laughs> We've had our fun, and I finally just put it to what I think I'm gonna end up leaving it on. I have one more curiosity about how another kind of setup would be, but for now, I'm kind of trying to go for this. I have it on full aggression, so like what it just was, instead of it being on five seconds, which we just had it on, I moved it to 0.3 seconds. So it's literally only gonna burble for a third of a second after. So my goal is like when I take off, like one or two pops. I'm trying to stay in the one or two pop ranges. That way, I make sure no cops are around. Also, they might have just thought my engine blew up. You know what I mean? Like they're like, yeah, it's not a burble tune. His engine just broke. Poor him. Wah. You know what I mean? So we're gonna see how it sounds. Hopefully it sounds cool. You know, I'm just trying to be different. You know, I don't wanna be like everyone who has like F80s or the S55 or the N55. Sounds like a popcorn machine. And I am a full supporter of that. And if the law was a supporter of that, I would probably have it on what you just saw me drive it on, but it's not. So let's see. This is the verdict right now. We're on like a single pop sometimes. It'll do like a, like a, like a little bit. And we're at 0.3 seconds and I like it. I think we might move it to 0.4 seconds. I wish it was easier, I have to plug my laptop in and reset it every time, but it's kind of funny. It's just, so if I step on it, after the pack, it does two pop, pop or three. It's so funny, there's so many things you could do, like I don't even know what I want. Here's a downshift, we'll do one last downshift and then we'll go home. It does sound cool. That is kind of like the more safe thing that I'm looking for. Well, we got nothing out of that one. Yeah, we're gonna need to move it a little bit. Okay. I did just change. I'm going a little date night, okay? Leave me alone. That's for another channel, okay? You guys like cars. I did finally get the burbles to where I wanted them. I didn't film it. You guys will see it in another video. So subscribe, like the video. I'm not sure if I'm ending it here. We're gonna head out to dinner right now down to like Beverly Hills. But if I do or don't end it here, I forgot to tell you guys today and I've been slacking. I had to do it at the end of the last video. But welcome to Driven by Jordan.